morning, guys. Is this a place to shoot? Yes, it is, Becca. Do you look at the camera? Hi. I so, look so, like, lame. Snuggly. Oh, um, so, it is Monday morning. It's about 11.30. We have just been shooting with Katie in the city. When we get out of the car, I'll show you our outfits. Well, no, not this outfit, because I've just thrown together a <laughs> mixture of three outfits. I'm not wearing a bra. Um, thanks for that. So I just, I, well, I couldn't let me jump on Um you. So I'll show you my outfit. This is what one of the outfits we kind of shot. Um, we shot three outfits or three and a half outfits. One was from Sports Girl. One was this jumper from Vic and Woods. Um, one was a really cool like khaki khaki outfit, and one was this um, kind of bright orange ensemble. Um, so I'm excited to see the photos from Katie. She'll send them through us. Send them through to us today. When we get home, just gonna do some work. Get straight into it. It's actually a really nice day today. It's obviously chilly because it's winter, but it's really nice and sunny, which is lovely. So that's what we've been doing. Hopefully there'll be some deliveries at home so we can show you. Fingers crossed. Bye. Bye. Okay, so obviously we're inside now. I don't have glasses anymore. That's stupid. Um, so these are the this outfits. This is not the, the outfit that I was wearing. Well, it's one Becca was in the car. She's like, it looks stupid, but I think it looks kind of cute. Thick and Woods jumper. A long sleeve underneath. I'm wearing an assembly label on Sanji. That's now yeah. fluffy! Focus on my foot. Focus on fluff. That's the worst these kind of jumpers that like yeah. fluff on everything. All of my jeans as well. Um, and she's wearing your target jeans. Target jeans. And we've got new Converse. Look how cute these are. And they're like yeah, platform your side Converse. Side pro. Yeah, they're like platform Converse. So I think they're really cute they're because actually generally sick. I feel like Converse are too small and like make my feet look less, more chunky. But now I think because they're, they're chunky. These are mad sick. Because the shoes are chunky, I, I don't feel as chunky. Um, I'm wearing Vic and Woods jumper, Bex J Crew kind of orange, blood orange jacket. Um, I'm wearing Furla bag, my leather trousers from I think it's Blank NYC, um, and the Converse. I think it's a really cute outfit. So we're gonna do some work now, but we'll see you guys later. morning guys it's Tuesday we are just um, at a wedding in the car because we're gonna meet with our clients today um, we were at the head office so we kind of we're a bit early it's 10 to 12 so a bit early just chilling in the car um, did a little bit of work this morning for this meeting um, I was meant to go to the gym but feeling a bit poo at the moment not sure why but we need to get to the gym did we class tonight Gym tomorrow. Do you want to do a class tonight? Maybe. We're going to try and do a class tonight. Um, but yeah, so nothing really to update you guys on, really. Just wanted to touch base and say hello. Um, we're wearing some kind of like simple outfits, so we can show you later, but they're not that interesting. They're kind of just standard. But yeah. Hey guys, happy Wednesday. Um, sorry we've neglected you. Marissa left this camera in the glove box of my car and I completely forgot about it. Um, also, apologies for the no makeup. I feel... But we just came back from the gym, so... I have makeup on, so I don't feel... Marissa put makeup on. It's so bright. Um, we're gonna about, just about to film a video um, for our Master Sephora haul that we got when we were in Sydney last week, if you guys remember. Um, last week? No. Week before last two weeks ago so um yeah we've got all this stuff we've given, given a bit away as well the things that are like, too light for us or whatever but um yeah so i'm going to film that quickly while marissa is talking in that quickly i'm going to do a bit of dual filming action and then yeah just take some content today after our pt session and we've kind of realized we want to i guess step up our fitness game because we're still pudgy and it's because we're eating shit still. We're still like eating a lot of carbohydrates, or too many carbohydrates, and not doing enough cardio to kind of balance it out. So I'm gonna try and really kickstart our fitness journey um, and try and lose a few kilos. Not, we don't really care about the weight, but how much we weigh. It's not about how much we feel, how good we feel, how we look. So um, just wanna lean down and tone up. Um, but basically, yeah, that's that. It's a bit of an update. Um, I'll insert a clip of Marissa doing the YouTube haul here. Okay, so just got a big pass 
Crackle. It's really crunchy. Um, from Linus Official. I'm really excited to try some really, really, really cool stuff. Linus Official is kind of like a high street, I'd say. It's pretty fast fashion, low-ish price point. Um, so, first thing we got was this really cool stripy blazer. And it's got... It's got paper on both. Ooh, it's got gold buttons. And you know how much we like gold button blazers. Or just, you know, blazers in general. So that's the first thing we got. It looks really nice actually. Have like this. Next, looks like it's a white shirt. It's a nice simple white shirt. That's quite cool. Got a nice wide cuff. There are these ball drop earrings in bronze. Did you like this? You know, look, YOLO. We like big earrings. That's quite cool, actually. Oh, we got black sun pot. That's really cool. Does, yeah, cool. Also, this is a white silky dress. Got a white silky dress, it looks like. Oh, maybe, oh, this is the silky trench coat that Beck got. Um, it looks really quite pajama marine silky. That's quite cool, actually. And it comes with a waist belt. Oh, one pair of earrings. I thought we asked for earrings, but they're earrings. But I have complained. I like, I like earrings. So these ones here are kind of, sorry about the crunching, a lot of plastic. These ones here are like really cool, actually. Like silver chandelier style earring, which is quite pretty. Next thing, this is velvet, so I'm not going to enjoy holding this. So I'm just going to do this so I don't touch it. If you know how much I have <laughs> for velvet, you just, you just know. So, it's a really cool wrap dress. It's kind of like the Reformation, um, or like Realization Pa style. Actually looks really pretty and the colour is beautiful. Just, um, hate. It's actually velveteen, but... Oh, it's actually okay to touch. Oh yeah, it's fine. It's velveteen. I was like, <laughs> my face is like sweat. No, it's good. <laughs> it's fine. Very pretty. Oh, another pair of earrings. I actually saw these on um, Shannon XO from New Zealand. And I should really look. I think they'll be a line of special like unboxing. Like, and I was like, these look really cool. I want them. So, yay. Thanks for listening to us. They are really cool. Um, and then two oh. more more things. Welcome, Welcome to the family base. Can't wait to see you in these styles. Lots of love, Jess. Thanks, Jess. Two more pieces left. I think this must be. Um, this is what I asked for because this is the only thing that wasn't like velvet. And I was like, oh, look at you. Show me if I asked for that. It's a navy dress with a wrap belt, too, which is actually really cute. This actually looks really pretty on us, I think. I'm not too booby on you. I got a medium, so hopefully I'll avoid that. And last but not least, Oh, the two blazers. I oh, thought so too. Um, a wrap top, which is definitely a Beck wrap top that she asked for. I didn't ask for that. Maybe I asked for this. I thought this was a very you top wrap. No, you asked for that. Anyway, a wrap top. Quite cool. So these look really pretty. I'm excited to try them on and style them. Bye. Good morning, guys. It's Thursday morning. Rebecca. Hello. My sunglasses are on inside because they're already on my face. So yeah, what else? We are on our way to get our laser done. So this is our fourth treatment here. Third or fourth treatment. Um, so gonna get that done today, and then that's really it. And nothing else planned today. I'm gonna set up my desk. I ordered a desk and it's just arrived yesterday. Super exciting. Gonna set that up, <clears throat> and we're also going to do. I'm gonna set up the shower caddy as well while I'm there because I yeah. bought a shower caddy like one of those little rolly like toiletry trolleys from IKEA like months ago, and I'm gonna set it up. And I guess while I'm creating stuff and like building stuff, I may as well build that as well. Yep. Yeah. Um, this is what I'm wearing. This, so is this, is what, this is what I'm wearing. I'm wearing a really old oversized shirt from Boohoo. It's like got like a star print on it. It's a really cute. With my new, or Marissa's new Vic and Woods, um, navy pinstripe blazer. blazer. Um, with my new bag. So I got this bag from Shop Up. Um, the other day. It's so cute. Love Machino. I got really like the, the strap. Um, the strap's really cool. Sorry, sorry. Oh my God. I've got the Love Machino strap. Ari calls it Macchiato. 
Um, I'm wearing a coffee bear. Target jeans um, and new um, platform converse, which I'm actually obsessed with. Yeah, me too. I, I really love like these. them. I really like them. And then my earrings from Elix Yang. Yep, and I am wearing a jumper that I just got from ASOS, which I will link in the bio below. It's new, it's a boyfriend blazer, me likey. Um, bone jacket from Naked Fashion, also I'll link it below, a couple of you are asking. I think there's a few of these on Naked Fashion, but um, this is on the gold hardware, so I will link the correct one. Target jeans, also the Converse platforms, they're really cool. Um, and I've got my Bailey Nelson sunglasses on, watch from... Clues ring from, I can't remember the brand, maybe it's Elizabeth and James, the ring, but from the outnet. And this one is from Swarovski that my boyfriend got me. So, we'll see you guys later. <laughs>just duck to the Paran markets quickly, drop myself off at Laser and I'm, because my point's at 10.30 so mine's half an hour after her so I wanted to finally buy a, like a bouquet of peonies because can never find them in our area because we're not fancy enough or not as like eclectic enough but I found them yay, so I got they're actually really expensive, I was like oh so expensive but worth it, hopefully they last more than like a day um, so I got two bouquets, like two bunches of um, maroon ones and two of white. So hopefully I find some pretty vases at home. Put them in. I'll show you. They're so pretty. So this is them. Oh my god. Hope they don't fall. So, so pretty. The white ones aren't as open yet, which is really nice. But the maroon ones are. But they're so beautiful. And I couldn't say no, they're such a nice colour. So they were really expensive. But you know what? It's a work expense because I'm going to put them on the Instagram. And they're already on the vlog. So they were... $35 each or two for 60 so they were $120 for all four which I'm like flabbergasted because it's literally like five stalks but you know what look at them they are so freaking stunning also sorry I'm sniffling I'm still really sick but they're so stunning and um yeah I'm gonna put them I want to put them in our TV room just to make it look really fresh and pretty and hopefully I can find somewhere in, if anyone knows somewhere in Melbourne we can get peonies <clears throat> like cheaper I don't know maybe I have to go to the Vic markets on Saturday mornings but um yeah so that's that I'm just gonna um just focus on me I'm just gonna now head back to um where I have to go to get laser done because I, I looked it took like 10 minutes but um yeah I'm gonna go back in quickly and then get laser up excuse me and then um head off so I think I'm trying to get someone might try and get into my car spot so I'll see you guys later. desk um i was vlogging it <laughs> i was vlogging like a time lapse then i realized like i was standing sitting here doing it and it got only focused on here and it was empty space no so. it was focused on here up and yeah. you literally saw nothing so i'm sorry um but this is my desk i'll move the chair out of the way because i need to get a new chair but this is what it looks like it's really cute it's got the <clears> gold <throat> x-frame legs it's from milan direct from temple and webster so I'll link it below. But it's really cute. I've got it. You now I've been thinking what I should, I should put here in this space. Like a big like ottoman, like shaggy ottoman poof thing there. And maybe like a tall like stand, standing lamp in the corner. But yeah. It literally took me like two hours to do. And it was just, okay, it took longer because obviously it's not Ikea quality. And you can tell it's Ikea quality. But my, I love it. And the drawers glide. I've got blisters on my fingers now just because I'm like, that was freaking exhausting. I don't understand. Wasn't it cheap? That's was like 400 ish dollars. That should come assembled. Who else agrees? Comment below. But I think if it's not Ikea, it should come assembled. It's just 
No. Ridiculous. No. I think it should well, come We've got two more coming. We've got two more coming in the white for our desks in our room, in our studies. But I want one in my room as well because I had an old kind of crappy ish desk. Um, just essentially just as like a dressing table, like just for looks, really not for the functionality of a desk. But anyway, I did it. I'm so proud of myself. I'm stuffed. <laughs> Guys, you are absolutely not going to believe what just happened. I can't believe what just happened. I'm really frazzled. I'm like, why did this just happen? <sighs> so, I just went for a walk. So I was like, yeah, fitness, yeah, healthy. Um, and I had a really delicious salad for lunch that I made myself. Um, and then I just came home from a walk and I saw like a toll guy and I was like, it's a delivery coming out. Like it's 5.45 at night. That's kind of like late. Um, yeah, so um, look, I'm, I mean, I'm not going to complain, but um. I got a delivery from Cadbury and I'm kind of like, why? Why did you send us this many blocks of chocolate? Basically. So, that fanned out so nicely. Oh my god, I'm so impressed with that. So, I'm, I'm gonna just, I'm at a loss for words because I feel like Cadbury just knew. They were like, Bex, like exercise today, she's eating healthy today. Where's gonna come this bowl of fun with really, really delicious sounding chocolate? Yeah, so that's happened. Hey guys, happy Friday. Um, I just went from the gym. I'm going to do my makeup quickly. I had a really intense session at the gym with Anne. Marissa didn't come, she's not feeling well. Um, so I am just gonna do my makeup on camera, I think. I don't know, I, and this isn't a tutorial because like, I'm rubbish at that. Um, but this is just like, we're gonna try and use some of the new products we got from Sephora. So I've got the It Cosmetics, Your Skin But Better, CC Airbrush Perfecting Powder. I've got the Tarte, the Tarte Clay Play, which should be good. Um, the Zoeva, the Basic Moment Blush Palette, which I'm obsessed with, which I love. Um, and also I've got the Tarte, um, clay stick foundation. So I'm going to do that as well. So, um, yeah, enjoy. Okay, cool. So I'm just going to start with concealing my under eyes because they've been really dry lately. I need to use a closer mirror. Do I have one? Aha, the Tarte palette. Um, I'm just going to use the Fake Up Concealer by Benefit in the color light. So it's got a, like a rim of, um, moisturizer around the actual concealer so it really helps we got really dry under eyes for some odd reason really pisses me off so um, I've been using that which has been really helping um, under my foundation just to kind of hydrate under my eye no matter how much um, moisturizer I put on it um, doesn't help so that's really frustrating um, um, awesome so now I'm going to try the new um, Tarte clay stick foundation. So Marissa said that she had to layer several layers. Oh, it's quite pink based as well, which isn't really that great for us. But you know what? Let's just see. Let's give it a shot and I just put it right in my eyebrows. Okay, let's give it a shot. I've heard it's really like easy to blend out, which, yep, it is really easy to blend out. Um, let's just do this better. The lighting's much better here. So it's really, really easy to blend out, actually. Um, I'm barely having to do any blending, like, in comparison to other foundations. Every time I do my makeup, I feel like my nose just gets sniffly. Like, it's not sniffly before I have to do my makeup, it's like as I do my makeup or right after, it's like, oh yep, you need to blow your nose now. And I'm like, what you, why couldn't this happen before? It's probably the most frustrating thing ever in the entire world. So, oh, it looks really nice. Miss, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about when you said that it doesn't give full coverage. No, I've only done one layer. 
but like I didn't really do like a conservative layer like I did a I striped my face up yeah it's actually really nice okay I might need a little bit more actually no I might just add some coverage with um just concealer so I'm using the Maybelline New York Fit Me Concealer which um I'm going to use because my under eyes are still dark but they should be hydrated now because of um the concealer I use underneath and just a bit on my nose bridge my nose and stuff so let's see how that works out for me <laughs> really nice actually I'm really impressed with that um now I'm not going to set yet I'm going to use I haven't used this chubby stick in ages and it's probably why because it's literally on empty um but this used to be my favorite thing to contour with and um I don't use it anymore perhaps that's why because it was on empty the whole time so I'm just going to dab this out. Anytime anyone ever says dab, I always think that's stupid dance move. So I'm just going to blend it into my neck a little bit just so there's no lines because there's nothing worse than um, having lines. Just actually had to wet the beauty blender a bit with um, just like some setting spray just to kind of like get it moving a bit. So maybe I proved myself wrong. When I said, don't use your beauty blender, that's wet, because I don't do it. Okay, so I'm just using the colour Desert, this one here, because um, it's super pigmented. Oh yeah, it's, wow, so pigmented. So Marissa, yes, she said that she is the darkest one, like the tiniest little bit, and it's super pigmented, which, um, yes, I can tell. So I'm just going to run a little bit down my neck as well, just so it blendy blends. Um, but, oh my gosh, it's so pretty. It's really, really pretty. Okay, I'm like real vibing this right now. Okay, cool. Um, and then I'm just going to go, just because it's a little bit um, ashy, that bronzer, just with my um, hourglass ambient light um, bronzing powder, just to actually warm up my cheeks a smidge -roo. Pretty. Okay, cool. Awesome. Um, now on to blush. I'm using the Use a Basic Moment palette, um, the blush palette. And I'm, this colour here, yes to come, is like literally life. So, I'm just gonna, again, this one's really pigmented, so you don't need a lot at all. using this it cosmetics your skin but better CC plus airbrush perfecting powder it's in the color light so it shouldn't offer too much actual color which I don't want to add color well, that's really pigmented I just want to kind of like set the middle of my face because Lord it gets oily like no tomorrow um awesome and now just to, I'm gonna just like touch up my brows I've already done them before the gym with the um, precisely precisely my brow um, pencil from Benefit. I literally actually I don't even do it. I don't even need to actually. Um, I did the yeah, before, like I said before the gym with the um, brow gel, the same Benefit brow gel in color five. This one is also in shade. Where does it say? It does not say. 
Shade 4. So it's not as dark, but I'm just gonna fill in this little stupid gap that my eyebrow had. No! Oh my gosh, guys, this is why I'm not good at makeup because I'm just like rubbish. And I draw lines that sh there shouldn't be lines. Anyway, that is that. Really simple because I already did my brows before. So, guys, um, and then I'm just gonna use some mascara. I'm using the Mascara Volume Effect Faux Seals from um, YSL. It's like the coolest packaging. It's just classic YSL. <laughs> with we've got in the same Sephora pack so it's the Algenis Splash Hydrating Setting Mist and mist which is really pretty so hopefully I don't spray and get mascara everywhere let's just hope it doesn't happen oh my god it's so refreshing and no mascara so I'm just gonna like cotton bod this mascara away um that's it so I'm just doing a little insta story take over insta story thing now for a brand I'm gonna fix my hair first um should I? I might just put like a subtle kink through my hair and then I'm fix my lips, which I'm just gonna put lipstick on top. Um, and then do a little like insta takeover. And then I guess I might show you some of the new in pieces we've got this week. We've got a lot, and it's all really tonal, which is beautiful. So like maroons and dark navies and whites and blacks. So it looks stunning um, on our lovely rack in our office. Um, so yeah, I'll show you that now. Got, all right, we also got a delivery from Bobby Brown. Super excited for that. Um, so I'll show you. They gave us actually quite a bit of stuff. Um, let's just put you down. Okay, so we got quite a bit of stuff. So the first thing we got was the Vitamin Enrich Face Balm, which is like a primer. So, yes, yeah, so it's called Face Base. So obviously it's a primer. And then we got four palettes. Or not palettes, like for yeah palettes I guess I'm not the right terminology to say if like I'm not a beauty youtuber or a beauty blogger I don't know one we've got is the shimmer the shimmer brick compact um, which says the original shimmer brick compact this shimmering brush on powder creates a deep bronzy glow this is obviously the pink version so we've got two of this two blushes versions basically um, of this shimmer brick compact which is really really nice they're super beautiful and then we got the highlighting powder in a pink glow which oh my gosh I absolutely died it is Stunning, like look at that iridescent shimmer. Oh my gosh, dead. Um, really nice to try that. And then we got another highlighting powder in bronze glow. So really, really beautiful. Just like when that light hits, I think I'm blocking the light. But you know what? It's stunning. So we got those four, and then we got two glow sticks. So it says like sunshine on a stick. This creamy lightweight highlighter glides to on skin to deliver an instant sun kissed glow that lasts all day. Swipe on cheekbones, nose, forehead, and chin. Anywhere sun naturally hits the face and use fingers to blend. So we've got two colours. The first colour we got is sun tan. So it's a, this is a really deep, tanny. So this is the first colour. So it's called sun tan. Um, I'll try and swatch your reno if it comes off. So that's that. So it's really beautiful. Look at that sunlight when it hits. It is stunning. So that would be a really good one, more of as like a contour, I think. Um, and the next colour is called Beach Babe. So there's that colour there. So I'll just, again, do a bit of a swatchy swatch. Um, so you can kind of compare. So it's much lighter, obviously. But um, again, just as pigmented. The light hits it just as beautifully. I was just saying today how much um, I want to get some more cream highlighters because... Um, of our face being so oily, I put a lot of powder on, excuse me, and it tends to get quite drying. So I'm like, I should want some more cream highlighters to kind of illuminate my skin and make it more iridescent. 
So this is all our new arrivals on our rack in our office. Um, as you can see, there's lots of blues, um, satins, so different textures, a bit of maroon, lots of whites as well. So um, we've got pieces from like Shana Joy, um, Revolve, our Linus official stuff which you saw earlier this week. Um, a bit of maroon as well and some piece from third form. So this is all going to be shot next week hopefully. Going to do a massive photo shoot I think with Katie on Friday next week. So we'll keep you posted. Um, but yeah, that's it for today, this week's vlog. Going to sign off here. We're kind of really busy over the weekend. We're on the panel for church doing our relationship series. Just talking about how to stay connected in an um, increasingly disconnected world. So um, we yeah, will uh, sign off here and see you guys next week. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.